It's week 18 of the NFL. And coming up, we'll see the electric Kyler Murray. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Cardinals and the Jets, and it's coming up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They come into this one off a bit of a clunker last time out, a loss that ended their five-game winning streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Rodgers throw taken in by Samuel. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven. On second down, a run with Hall. Shifts past him at the 45. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw in that play with a loss. It'll be a gain of five, and now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Zayvon Collins with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. And no excitement. Unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Murray going to throw. And this one's incomplete. When you talk about this Jets defense, they enter this one down in the 26th position in the NFL against the run. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense? And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Jermaine Johnson drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. 
It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Oh, look at the juke. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Jets will take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Rodgers going to throw. They'll roll him out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Rodgers now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. To throw, it's Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half, and on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Buying time to his left. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. They were backed up behind the sticks, but he still found a way to make that first down happen. That's the kind of fight every coach hopes his franchise quarterback has in him. Look a tough situation like that in the eye and come up with a solution on the spot. Now they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Here's second and seven. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 18. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. And he completes it to Wilson. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Second and nine. Now it's Rodgers. Throw over the middle. He's got Rucker. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal from the six. Now Rodgers. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Jets are on the board first here this afternoon. They go I formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. 
Cardinal offense coming back out. Let's give you a look at the playoff race. Now, this is end of the weekend in the NFC. And what they do know is that they'll be playing at home come January, at least for one game, as they have locked up the NFC West. And everyone wants that top spot, partner. We know that because that guarantees your home field advantage throughout the playoffs. But whether or not that's in the cards or not, you have to be impressed with how this team is playing. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Throwing now is Murray. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 18 more yards there and another first down. Incomplete. The Cardinals at 11 and 5 on the year. And Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on, put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. point away from drawing level when you're a great route runner it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time Joey Sly on for the extra point it's up and good so these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter and we're tied 7-7 so all even at seven now as they kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. Short completion, just four yards at its second down. Rodgers again now. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 17-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be second down. A toss left side for Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if this is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant and keep throwing it around. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The part that the defense isn't going to adjust, and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available. And now off to the races, down the right side. Inside the 10, touchdown. point of tying up this ball game. Brandon, you and I have caught a lot of college football in our day, but on Sundays here in the NFL, doesn't it look a lot like what we used to see on Saturdays when we called those games? Yeah, option plays just like we saw, and that was a long touchdown of the option. What you taught me, though, defensively, you get your eyes in the wrong place on a play like that, you're in trouble. What's the term that's in vogue in the NFL? Eye violations. The offense wants you to put your eyes in the wrong spot so that they can appear in others. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New York set to take the field. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. And they need two. Here's third down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. They'll run with Hall. And this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football so on now is johnny hecker to punt this one away and a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18 yard line well, the football back in the hands of the arizona cardinals and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll go again here with Akers. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Murray. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. 
like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Throwing is Rodgers. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Dietrich Wise Jr. just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to bracket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Second down, Murray sets to throw. The kidder here, it's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Murray to air it out again. It's complete to Brown, right side. But he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. It'll be Murray on the keeper. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kim Akers taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, they seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. Taken at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. On first down, Rodgers. 
And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Rodgers again here on second and ten. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. Fights off the defender, and they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Murray. He'll fire deep, looking for more. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the always dangerous Kyler Murray. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The offense trots back out, ready for this next drive. There's the running back, Cam Akers. And he's closing in on that number that all running backs circled beginning of the year, the number 1,000. Could do it on this drive. And you have to think to yourself, at this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts, right? Not just getting yourself physically prepared to play, but mentally, as well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rear view mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play caller. A throw over the middle, taken in. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now Murray again. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. This is taken at about the 14. And eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And they will take over first and 10. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go down the field and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Here's Rodgers to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Rodgers now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got the hookup downfield with Samuel. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Rodgers will try again on second down. Samuel bringing in the slant. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Ball on a give up the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll go again with Hall. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rally quickly on the defensive end. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left. Roll him out, bootleg him. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, the current formula is not working right now. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gain something out of that drive. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Jermaine Johnson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot, third and long. He'll drop to throw. And he is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. 
Murray now on first down. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get it. There he goes left side. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. To throw, it's Murray. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Murray going to throw. Able to get this with a McBride. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that's going to make it fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 60 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a 1,000-yard campaign. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. This is Wilson on the Jet sweep. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now Rodgers. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now third down and six to go. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. B.J. Ojolari gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. And it has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Now that's what he can do when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained, and in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Off. 
Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. Now an option play on second down. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, we've got an injured player here as well. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here. And we'll step aside. On the counter, it's Hall. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Here's Hall again. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Jets on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This time they face a third and two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Good protection there on third down. This is just a simple flip to his tight end outside the numbers. He's able to haul it in and pick up the first down. They'll give the haul. Gets past one man. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. Back to the ground with Hall. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. To throw is Rodgers. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Jeremy Ruckert, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. A late turnover is so often the difference in a ball game, and here the turnover leads to the go-ahead touchdown. So repeat after me, partner. You have to take care of the football. In order to protect the lead, you must take care of the football. Ball security. How many times do they have to say it? They've been preaching it since day one of camp, and it came back to bite them right there. Point after, right down the middle. And that gives them a three-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And all of that was capped off by a Jeremy Rucker touchdown catch. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cardinal offense takes back over. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Murray now on first down. A short one here caught by McBride. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, here's Murray. It's complete to Brown, right side. Seven yards there on the first down.
They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Over, 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 over. In his own end zone, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. Running left, it's home. Now he's loose again. And down to the 29-yard line. Holding offense. They get the USC man, Elijah Vera Tucker. Here's a give to Hall. Good strength, but not able to get a whole lot. Tackled shy of the 10. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Now it's Rodgers. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but he falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Johnny Hecker now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 24-21, 2.24 to go. A chance to end this season with a bang as they come up with a first and 10. From the gun, Murray. That's complete to McBride. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to thank the guys on D. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now Murray. This pass complete to Higgins. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. To throw is Murray. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And they'll come up now. This is second and long. Murray to throw. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Back to throw, Murray. 
being chased out loud. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. This is first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. All set up for him right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They get that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They've got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. Now Murray off play action. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And they run the option on second down. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. What will they draw up to try to keep this opening drive of overtime moving? Third and seven. Shotgun now for Murray. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Murray now running right on the option. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't hurt too well. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. 
Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And New York set to take the field. But their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that's going to bring up second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. Seven yards there at a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great work in relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Two minutes left in this overtime session, and still all tied. Next score wins, but remember, this will be a tie if the period ends with no scoring as they work on second down. Rodgers there on target to Wilson. Yeah, he is out of bounds inside the 35. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Going right back to Wilson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, Rodgers. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snap, and they're there and they end up making the play. On second down, a run with Hall. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. So this is certainly a tough test here in the early career of the rookie kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Jets are going to win the football game. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So for the Jets, they finish off the season with a victory, which is the good news. The bad news is that it will wrap up a dreadful 4-13 and campaign. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.